It's time for Math Story Problem of the Day with your host, Miss Croninger. All right. Hello again, everybody. Today, we're going to do a number bond here on my table. I have um, drawn out a number bond for us to use, and I will give you a story problem today, and we're going to solve it together on this number bond. You can do this with me at home. Um, it's pretty easy to draw. Just trace some circles. I used a cup from my kitchen and trace the circle. Make sure you have one circle that has two lines attached to the other two circles. This is our whole circle, and these two circles are for the parts. So, I will give you a story problem. We're gonna do a couple of these in this video. So here's our first story. Let's see here. I like to use the kids in our class, so let's do, um, let's start with Adelie. Adelie has four sunflowers. Her friend, Gabby, has five sunflowers. How many sunflowers are there all together? All right, let's listen to that problem again. So first I said that Adelie has four sunflowers. So that's one of our parts, and we're trying to figure out what the whole is. So since four is one of our parts, I'm gonna put it here in one of the part circles. Then the story says that Gabby has five sunflowers, that's our other part, so I will put the five here to show Gabby some flowers. All right, so now our job is to figure out what number goes here in the whole of our number bond. So our, our number sentence then is four plus five equals what? So I'm gonna write our number sentence here And I want you to uh, use your very smart brains and you can count your fingers, you can count your toes, you can count objects, you could draw tally marks, however you want to solve this problem. I think for today, I want to try counting on. So I want you to start with the bigger number. Anytime we're counting on, we start with our bigger number, we put it in our brain. So whisper it into your hand, five. Put it in your brain, and now we're gonna count on to four with our fingers. So I'm at five already. Let's count four more. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I've counted nine total sunflowers. So I'm gonna put the number nine up here in the whole section of our number bond. Four plus five equals nine, and I'm gonna also put that here in the number sentence. Okay, did you get it? Is that the right answer? I hope so. All right, let's do another one. Let me erase. Okay, for our next story problem, this story, we're gonna use googly eyes. So I decided to use a monster number bond story. So listen to the story first, then we'll put the googly eyes where they should go in the parts and we'll add them together to make the whole. So the green monster has five googly eyes and the blue monster has three googly eyes. How many eyes do they have all together? All right, I'm gonna say the story problem again and this time we're gonna put the googly eyes into the part circle. So the first monster I said had five googly eyes. So let's count five eyes. One, two, three, four and five and the other monster had three googly eyes so let's count three one two three eyes and these eyes are just extra so i'm going to move them out of the way all right so here we have five plus three and we need to figure out how many we have all together now when you're using objects like i'm using the googly eyes you could use blocks or any kind of toy, really, small toys you could do, you could just move them all to the hole and then count them all together. That's one way to do it. Or you could keep them in the parts and count them in the parts. But for this one, let's count now and see how many we have all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all together. So, if you remember, we had five eyes here, and we had three eyes here, 
And when we make this a number sentence, we could say three plus five, or we could also say five plus three, because remember, it's the same either way. We get the same answer, and our answer was eight. We had eight I's all together. Now, I hope you noticed that when I counted all the I's, did you see, not only did I touch them and say the number, I also moved them, and I put them in a line. When you do that, that helps you to make sure you're not miscounting anything. That way, you're sure to get every single object counted so you don't uh, make a mistake, okay? Good job. Now, I'm going to do a little bit harder math problem for you. Okay, for this problem, I'm going to use some other friends from our class. And um, this time, I will give you the whole and one of the parts. And your job then is to figure out what goes in the other part. So this is a much trickier problem, okay? So here, listen to the story first, and then I'll read it another time, and we will write the numbers in the number bond. So... Ashlyn has six butterfly hair bows. Three of them are yellow. How many of them are pink? All right, listen again, and we're going to write the numbers where they go. So first I told you that Ashlyn has six butterfly hair bows. That means she has six all together. That is the whole amount that she has. So I'm going to write that in the whole circle there. She has six total butterfly hair bows. Three of them are yellow. So I'm gonna write a three in this part because we know that that's one of our parts. Three are yellow. Now we have to figure out how many more do we need to make six? Three plus something equals six. And if we go ahead and write our number sentence, it would look like this three plus something, because we don't know what that is yet. I'm gonna leave a blank spot there because we've got to figure that out still, okay? So, you could do this problem in different ways that I've shown you at school. You could use subtraction instead of addition. We did addition here, but if I wanted to subtract, I could say that six minus three equals, and that will give me the answer for the other part, I'm sorry, my marker is dying. Let me grab another marker. Okay, so we could use subtraction to solve this problem, okay? We could also count on to solve this problem. So just like we counted on in the last problem, I'm gonna count on in this one. So we're gonna start with the number three, and we're gonna see how many we need to count to get to six, and we're gonna use our fingers to do that. So I want you to take that number three, put it in your head, three. Okay, now I'm gonna keep counting on my fingers from three, four, five, six. So how many fingers do I have up? Three, exactly. So three is the number that goes in the other part. This is a brand new marker, I haven't used it before. Okay. So now we know that three plus three equals six, and if we need to check ourselves, we can always use our fingers. I can do three fingers and three fingers on each hand, and let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's the correct answer. We have six total. So three plus three equals six, okay? If we had done subtraction, I want to show you how we do that. So I'm gonna take that three away. You already know the answer, it's not a big deal, but I do want you to understand how you can get the answer from subtraction. So if she has three butterfly hair bows, we could draw pictures or use tally marks or use dots. Today, I want to draw dots. So I'm gonna draw six dots. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. And we know that three are yellow, so that means we're not counting three of them. So let's take away three, and now how many are left? One, two, three. So that's a really great way to solve the problem is through subtraction. 
And the best part to me about number bonds is that we can use them to do addition and subtraction, and both of them work really, really well. Okay, that's it for today, kiddos. I will see you next time. Bye.